Mm-hmm. So these days, I'm sure you spend more time than you'd like debunking conspiracy theories. So what I'm hoping I can do is that you can give me kind of an idiot's guide for how to deal with these various issues so that if I'm ever at a bar and some flat earther comes up to me, I can quickly expose them and get back to my drink. Does that sound good? Okay, so what I don't do, what do you not it may do? feel this way, mm-hmm. and I've done it once, maybe twice, but what I don't do is debunk uh, crazy ideas. I spend my whole life doing that. I'm an educator. My task is not to debunk the crazy ideas of adults, but establish an educational system that is incapable of producing an adult that thinks that way in the first place. Well, let me ask you this. You know, you've been at it for a long time. Over the last 10 years or so, have you seen an increase in the number of people who maybe think these things? I think that number of people may be the same over time. They just now can write a blog (laughs) that the whole world has access to via a search engine, right? You be alone with your own view that has no correspondence to objective reality, and you type it into a Google search, and it'll find every other person like you who thinks the same way, giving you the false sense that you're actually onto something, that you have some deep insight into the world that no one else has. This is delusional. The internet landed in our laps without creating a curriculum that empowers you to know when someone online is full of shit. It's all there. Is there an animated series or a cartoon that kind of impresses you? Is there something out there they get it right more often than not? Oh, animated. There's a lot of math in The Simpsons. I think it's not so much that you'd want a cartoon that's always reaching for science because that's not necessary. But what you would want is when they do go to science, they get it right. They get it right. And for having gotten it right, they get to tell a richer story. So I'm a fan of what Mark Twain says, first get your facts straight, then distort them at your leisure. (laughs) Not too bad. So in addition to being a connoisseur of the cosmos, I know that Mm -hmm. you're also an aficionado of fine wines. Is that because you were obsessed with the science of fermentation or you just wanted a drink? I mean, I think if you like fine food, you also will discover that you'll like wine that goes with it. Think about it, we have five traditional senses, you know, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Each one of these senses garners an entire fraction of society's investment in bringing pleasure to those senses. Think about it. So your sense of hearing, I want music, and you'll invest money in this. You'll go to concerts. There's great works of art. There's beautiful architecture. Look at how much we invest in things that look beautiful. It is odd when you think about it that you can go home and eat a bowl of rice, some beans with it, and get most of your, and maybe a salad, and that's your nutrition, and that would cost you a dollar in raw ingredients. Or you can go to a restaurant and spend hundreds of dollars on food and wine, The fact that people do that at all means you can raise the sense of culinary satisfaction to extremely high levels, and people do. So I like a a, a good bottle of wine where I'm distracted by how good it is so that I lose sleep at night wondering how the winemaker accomplished that feat. I can't wait till Megadeth. You can wait.